Imagine journey through the three kingdoms. Drunk and lying on Diao Chan's knee, awakening to control the world, El Yu Zhao Guan Zhang as the claw and tooth, Kong Ming Sun Yu as the king's assistant actual crossing of three kingdoms. Hundreds of thousands of self-proclaimed travelers crowded in a fairy demon three kingdoms plane where demons roam and stars gather to play a live-action version of online games. Excellent skills, fish leaping over the gate of dragons and achieving great success. Without skills, strive for the bottom from scratch. Flexible in mind, soliciting help to invest, fundraising, lending, hoarding, and hoarding, without emphasizing martial arts ethics to Chun, a young man with a straight personality in no skills, and a bit of integrity in martial arts, finally has the opportunity to turn things around after enduring the bottom half of the year. The extremely difficult to obtain 24 generals of the three kingdoms. LV Bu, Zhao Yun, Dian Wei, Guan Yu, Ma Chao, Zhang Fei, Huang Zhong, Su Chu, Sun Su, Tai Shi Xiai, Xia Ho Dun, Xia Ho Yuan, Zhang Liao, Zhang He, Su Huang, Peng De, Gan Ning, Zhou Tai, Wei Yan, Zhang Xiu, Yan Liang, Wen Chou, Deng Ai, Jiang Wei. Keywords of the novel No pop ups for players of the Immortal and Demon Three Kingdoms. Download the complete TXT collection for players of the Immortal and Demon Three Kingdoms, and read the latest chapters for players of the Immortal and Demon Three Kingdoms. Chapter 1 The Righteous Spring You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 The Righteous Spring, The Immortal and Demon Three Kingdoms System When a country is about to fall, there must be demons. Natural disasters, plagues, and monster beasts ravage. The warlords are divided, gathering stars together. Welcome to travel to the three kingdoms of immortals and demons. Please select a main city power to start developing. Luoyang, He Jin's faction, Chang'an, Dong Zhuo, Chen Lu, Chao Chao, Yi, Zhang Jiao, Nanpi, Yuan Shao, Bei Ping, Gong Sun Zan, Wu Wei, Ma Teng, Qingdu, Lu Yan, Xiangyang, Lu Biao, Shouchuan, Yuan Shu. Yongchang, Menghua. Reminder. All literary and military officials who have left their names in history on the main plane are generals who have descended to the mortal world, and all members gather to appear. Lu Bei and LV Bu are wandering generals without a main city and cannot directly join their forces. Other relevant information can be explored on your own in cities such as tea houses, restaurants, official posts, private schools, dojo markets, etc. Warning. It is prohibited to disseminate historical information on poetry beyond the Three Kingdoms period. On the fifth day of the fifth lunar month at the Dragon Boat Festival, the drums and gongs in Yongchang City are bustling with the sound of the sky, cars, water, and horses. Today is a holiday discount, and after half a year of hard work, the Chun has finally saved up enough copper coins and points to lift a freight unicycle, officially bidding farewell to being a backpacker and promoting to the car-owning class. With cars, the load capacity for transporting firewood and collecting herbs has increased by five or six times. The Dragon Boat Festival is the peak of yang energy throughout the year, and those rarely visited monster areas will receive brief safety. There must be many high dot quality and expensive herbs waiting for people to pick, which is the beginning of the start of the spring festival. Ahead is the Immortal Demon billboard outside the tea house, which has a nationwide online forum query function similar to a computer. The most eye dot catching feature is the strength ranking of players from various regions. At the level of Dachuan, you don't need to worry about your ranking, but after all, you have made phased progress. It's better to take a glance on the way, right? Ranking is like the college entrance examination, where one extra point can kill tens of thousands of people. If one's own expectations are not high, it's just a consolation to be able to improve by a thousand or eight hundred places. The new car player who stole a glance at the billboard in front probably thinks the same way. But the players ahead were shocked and shocked, and the Chun had a bad premonition. 
The comprehensive strength ranking of players in the Immortal and Demon Kingdoms, the top 50 receive a reputation bonus from famous scholars, among which the top three receive the title of Three Sovereigns, followed by the titles of Eight June, Eight Gu, Eight Ji, and Eight Chef. First place. Zhong Huang, Wu Yang, He Jin's faction, renowned scholar title, San Jun. Dot. Second place. Sword from the East, Kui Ji, Wang Lang's faction, San Jun. Third place. Qian Chiu Xue, Qingdu, Lu Yan's influence, San Jun. Fourth place. Ma Ying Long, Wu Wei, Ma Ting's influence, Eight Steeds. Fifth place. Antai Tsang Tian, Yi, Zhang Jiao's faction, Eight Steeds. Sixth place. Li Guanqi, Xiangyang, Lu Biao's influence, Ba Jun. Thirteenth place. Yuan Disha, Nanpi, Yuan Shao's influence, Bagu, thirty-fifth place. Pang Crab, Wu, Yan Baihu faction, Eight Cooks, forty-third place. Chicken Brother, Yong Chang, Menghua's influence, fiftieth place. Sima Gang, Hanoi, Wang Kuang's faction, Tip. Your current comprehensive ranking is 540,000, down 30,000 plus to Chun is confused. Crazy drop of 30,000 places. It's me who got killed. Understood, today is all holiday discounts. Although I took a small step forward, others have taken a big step forward. The Chun's mood instantly dropped a lot, and if one doesn't work hard, they really don't know how much difference they have compared to others. It's too difficult, this is not the three kingdoms I want to travel through at all the Chun is an operator of a three kingdoms game company, 33 years old. He has a straightforward and independent personality, and his relationships with superiors and colleagues are not very harmonious. Still a single person who only knows how to drink more hot water. I often feel that my talent is lacking and I am extremely eager to travel to the three kingdoms and establish a grand career like in the novel. That night, when I returned home from the night shift, I was struck by a thunderbolt, and the whole world was covered in white light. The noisy prompts on my phone made me confused and I casually chose the southwestern city of Yongchang to start the game. Because De Chun enjoys making a fortune quietly in the corner while playing Three Kingdoms. Yongchang has distinctive elephant soldiers and Ting armored soldiers, as well as the Wudang Flying Army reorganized by Zhuge Liang in the later period, abundant copper mines and coins, Lady Jerome, and the weak and prosperous neighbors in Sichuan. As long as you hold it in Yongchang, Xu will be in your bag, and then you can follow the Qin Han route to unify the world. Unexpectedly, it was actually a time travel. But before I had a chance to be ecstatic, I realized that the travelers were not myself alone. There were thousands of travelers in Yongchang alone, and Chao Chao's Chen Lu was even more popular, reaching tens of thousands who couldn't even eat enough. There were hundreds of thousands of people in dozens of main cities across the country. How could there be any sense of excellence in traveling? This is simply a real dot life version of an online game in a foreign world disguised in the skin of the three kingdoms, and it may still be the kind with only one life. The generals of the three kingdoms here are like footstep generals and celestial beings surrounded by starlight. It is impossible to expect them to be recruited by showing off a few Longzhong pairs, but once the relationship is good, they can obtain their incarnations, military symbols. It is a shining card that revolves around the player and transforms into a human form to fight as soon as the battle begins. Along with it, there are also military symbols, which summon a group of soldiers to fight. Both generals and soldiers can obtain star fragments and soul fragments through related missions and killing powerful monsters in the wild for star upgrading and expansion. This is a safe card mobile game mode. However, the current majority of players have lower levels of martial arts than ordinary people in this world, and they still rely on honest weaving mats, shoes, carts, and dates. De Chun is a sub-healthy elderly otaku who can easily catch his breath after running a few steps, and knows nothing without a computer. This Yongchang city is not only wild but also plagued by drought, with almost no other way to make a living. 
We can only go to the safe area outside the city with other players who know nothing, carry firewood and collect medicine, and first get basic food and clothing. We also have to spend half of the money to find witches to treat various injuries, diseases, insect bites, and diarrhea. The painful reflections during this period are difficult to count. However, just like in a class where there are always one or two academic achievers, there are certainly outstanding players who stand out among hundreds of thousands of people. A group of players with silk rings on their arms surged out of the tea house, and the Chun's heart sank. The Divine Pheasant Gang The gang created by a player named Chicken Brother, in this city, Silk, imitates Gan Ning's Jean Fan Thief to showcase the identity of the gang members. Compared to the ungrounded atmosphere of most passersby, Chicken Brother is a professional in wild chicken farming. Since ancient times, cockfighting has been popular in the Yungui area, and Bana cockfighting is one of the four major cockfighting games. Proficient in cockfighting, he quickly won his first capital by gambling on chickens, and then established a gang through the modern folk familiar, fundraising and lending, model. Soon, he snowballed and gained thousands of followers, and Chicken Brother was promoted to the top 50 players. That is to say, basically every main city has a top. Notch Super Player De Chun has an independent and free personality, and he detests fundraising and lending. He will never join their gang. At this moment, an acquaintance of the gang warmly and awkwardly came over to greet, Spring. Congratulations on having a car. De Chun is very helpless. This Zhang Huchong is a photo-retouching artist who loves tigers and has little ability in this world. He can barely be considered one of the few friends in De Chun. Zhang Huchuan said. At first, we thought we were the leading roles, but we didn't even count as supporting role. It was just a group performance. Some people were eaten by tigers when they entered the mountain. They were just a piece of cake. Let's be clear about the reality. You and I are all learning from scratch, but those who can raise chickens and pigs, fight with embroidery, stir-fry, Chinese medicine, play chess and dig coal have become big men. Will they give you and me a chance? The Chun stubbornly said, as long as you persist, there will always be opportunities. Zhang Hu chuckled and said, Zhong Huang, the first scholar, should be the son. In law of a wealthy family. De Chun didn't have a good airway and said, how could it be? It has to be said that at the beginning of spring, I really underestimated Luoyang. In the stereotypical impression of De Chun, He Jin was one of the great fools of the Three Kingdoms. The Luoyang Basin appeared to be perilous, but in reality, it was a prison. Dong Zhuo didn't expect it to be destroyed and relocated to Chang'an. No matter what, Luoyang should not be chosen as the starting point. But the result is that Luoyang in this world is relatively intact, still a gathering place of wealthy businessmen and wealthy families. He Jin was born as a butcher and rose to fame through the influence of the Empress's sister. His grandson He Yen was also the first son that in that law of a famous scholar, so the one step rise to heaven model was particularly popular in Luoyang, and the trend of sun. In. Law was prevalent. But instead of being foolish, He Jinji is the most brilliant advantage, easy to get along with and build relationships. The first player, Zhong Huang, was skilled in writing and gained the appreciation of the founder of regular script, Zhong Yao, who successfully entered the game. Legend has it that his comprehensive strength exceeds the total of the 5th to 50th players behind him, which is just the asset that Zhong Shi gave him to practice, let alone the capital that Zhong Huang used Zhong Shi's credit to start the snowball of player fundraising. But, this is not the imagined Dragon King Shura eating soft rice hard, but because his wife is said to be more virtuous and capable than Huang Yueying, and she dare not take a concubine. What's the point? Zhang Hu sighed and said, Can you bring wine and meat with you to search for chess dungeons on the map? Spring is very speechless. Since it is a live-action online game, of course there are dungeons, which are various fairyland and magic realm secrets. In the romance, the divine accountant Guan Lu revealed the secret and asked his seriously ill neighbor to prepare wine and meat to go to the fairyland to serve the immortal, 
the Southern Dipper and the Northern Dipper, and play chess to increase his longevity. There is really a group of herb-picking players who accidentally entered the fairyland here. They really met two immortals, one old and one young, playing chess, but they didn't bring any wine or meat, and they were so noisy that the immortals were kicked out. They missed such a good opportunity. But how many players can afford to buy alcohol and meat currently? During the Three Kingdoms period, food was expensive, and many places had alcohol bans, making alcohol quite expensive. Not to mention the random appearance of the chess fairyland, it's impossible to expect it. Zhang Huchue sighed again, unless we meet Lu Bei and Lu Bu. There are only two players across the country who have seen them, and they cannot come to this corner of Yongchang. The Chun is completely speechless. In most travel themes, Lu Guanzhang can be encountered by players at any time. But in this world, he is a guest general who has been engaged in mercenary trading for months without a trace. The Sodot called guest generals refer to those who bring a private army of civil and military personnel to join, and the Lord cannot be transferred, but guest generals can borrow soldiers from the Lord. The most famous guest generals in the Three Kingdoms were Lu Bei and Lu Bu, followed by Zhang Xiu and Huang Zhu. Here, two lucky players met them in the wilderness and respectively obtained the general runes of Lu Bei's general Chen Dao and LV Bu's general Gao Shun, as well as the White Eared Soldier and Trapped Camp runes from their subordinates. As a result, they snowballed and were promoted to the top 50 players. Lu Bei and LV Bu have thus become the hope for countless players to win and turn around. For the Chun, everything is uncertain. Various so dot called hidden tasks outside the city have also followed the trend, but none of them are reliable. It's just that I have a temper and don't want to bow down. Zhang Hu said in a deep voice, let me just say it. Now that you have a car and have developed to a higher level, Brother Ji will not sit idly by. If you don't add it, the consequences will be very serious. The Chun's expression was chilling. At the same time, there was a commotion in the convoy crowd, and immediately other players expressed dissatisfaction with the threat. What if we don't add it? Is Brother Chicken going to kill me? A gang leader coldly said, Leopard Head Zero Charge, right. If you had won the chicken bet back then, you would have been even more ruthless than Chicken Brother. Chicken Brother's ability to keep you is already enough to be righteous. Don't you think about whose credit the security in Yongchang is? Without further ado, let's give you a day to consider. Chicken Brother hopes to hear good news when he enters the city in the afternoon. Zero Chong was furious and said, You're so righteous. It's clear that you're raising me like a chicken. Now it's time to fatten up and start killing. The leader sneered, I'm asking if you want to join or not. You need to go offline early. If you're one step slower, you're one gang level away. Zero Charge's face jumped from red to white, and then bowed, I'll add it. Thank you, Brother Chicken, for being generous. The crowd was in an uproar, and the gang members applauded and laughed. The Chun is simply unbelievable. This Zero Charge has always been a heroic and inspirational spiritual leader who fights against injustice. Zero Charge tied silk on his arm and immediately boarded the car, waving his arms and shouting, Brothers and family, are we poor because we don't work hard? No. Is it because we don't have the ability? Not to mention, we just lack an opportunity to showcase our talents, a platform. Brother G has already built this platform for us, and has given us countless opportunities. Brother G is truly capable and righteous. What reason do we not feel moved? What face is there that doesn't feel guilty? Now that we are high.level logistics talents, Brother G will not mistreat us, and what we need to do is to repay this emotion with a guilty heart. Understand the applause. The leader applauded and laughed, you're the one who really meows. The bewildered convoy began to come to its senses, and the applause of I add could not be stopped. The Chun. Don't be so soft and hard that you won't eat, what are you waiting for? Zhang Hu shook the Chun in a hurry it's just one X sales, Hiabang, don't add it. 
If I added it now, why did I go earlier? What is the point of persisting for the past six months? Without saying a word, the Chun pushed the car forward. Immediately from behind came the roar of zero charge, who is that, the Chun? From today on, we will help the safety zone medicinal herb area on the mountain, not the gang members. Get out of here. The whole scene fell silent in an instant. De Chun trembled all over. This zero charge is indeed much more ruthless than Chicken Brother, and was arranged without even becoming the leader. Or is it true that he has always been an insider of Chicken Brother playing us? At this moment, all kinds of chicken soup successfully learned Han Exian's humiliation and warned De Chun that he must turn back and admit his guilt. However, De Chun found that his psychological barrier could not pull down this face no matter what. He really couldn't do that ugly act of changing his face in an instant. De Chun gritted his teeth and pushed the cart out of the city without turning back. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 One in a Thousand Talents You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 One in a Thousand Talents De Chun arrived at the city gate and looked blankly at the Chai Mountain outside the city. It was no longer the target area, where did he go? This is not like the old company resigning to deliver takeout, and there are no buses to safely go to neighboring cities hundreds of miles away. Once isolated, it's all over. No, it has already been isolated. There is no sound of wheels behind, indicating that everyone is joining the gang. It's over. This is about to be killed by the rooster. In a moment of panic, the voice of the veteran guarding the gate came to my ears. Pushing cart, don't block the road. This is a lame old soldier who sits lazily at the door drinking gourd tea and knocking melon seeds all day, and his nickname is Guy. According to the principle of, if a person has a vision, there must be a ability, there are many rumors circulating among players in this city about him, such as the hidden peerless warrior king. So players will greet him no matter what and persistently give him some randomly picked mushrooms, fruits, melons, and other relationships in an attempt to trigger a hidden plot. As a result, the hidden plot did not trigger, but the old soldier was used to being a soldier's skin, and the need to kill him while eating cards became increasingly excessive. It is also one of the most unreliable, hidden missions, in this city that I have followed the trend in spring. At this moment, De Chun was too eager to find someone to talk to, so he moved his car to the side and asked, Lame, I have no way out. Can you give me a clear direction? The lame master sneered, no way. Are you also suffering from a broken leg? De Chun said bitterly, I didn't join a gang. The lame master laughed and said, then kneel here and wait for them to come and kowtow. If you have thin skin and are too embarrassed to speak, I'll help you out of your usual gift of mushrooms. You're teasing me. The regret and fear that had just sprouted in the spring were immediately dispelled by anger. I won't even starve to death or die of poverty. The lay master chuckled and said, How much money do you still have on your child? De Chun was suddenly taken aback and patted his pocket, saying, There are still thirty one left, why? The lay master extended his hand and said, Bring it all. Anyway, you're a dying person. Why don't you give me all the money before you die? This veteran skin. De Chun is so angry that he can't speak. The lay master laughed heartily and said, If you're afraid to give me even thirty-one, it shows that you still have thoughts and dare to say you're not afraid of death. Speaking of this, the lay master's expression was gloomy. Kneel down honestly and beg for help. You have a way to survive. In the face of strength, face is not even worth it. Go kneel down and kowtow. The trick of constantly borrowing money is nothing but a real strength. De Chun laughed back in anger and said, I have a car that is even more valuable. Do you want a cripple? The lay master of looked eerie and said, If you dare to give me a gift, you dare to take it. De Chun was suddenly taken aback, this expression. Okay, the hidden peerless military king, right. I'll go all out and treat it like I ruined my game, cleared the warehouse, and deleted the account. 
De Chun gritted his teeth and took out the remaining copper coins as well as the miscellaneous bag containing injury medicine and sweat towels. Here we go. Here we go. Take it, cripple, he said the lame master laughed heartily and threw back his belongings. That's it. This car is worth several months of my salary. You can also go up the mountain and shout to Xiao Wu to catch ten pounds of mushrooms to come back for the holiday. Do you recognize Xiao Wu? The Chun Mu Ran said, those who specialize in chopping firewood sing the most vulgar mountain songs. The lay master waved his hand happily and said, go, go. People are still alive, but all the money is gone to Chun felt his whole body hollowed out and said, well, then what? The lay master impatiently said, then you can die wherever you want. Lying trough. All the assets were given, and there was no hidden plot triggered. Is this considered? Being deceived. De Chun truly regretted it and said, lame, I. I don't. The lame master's face turned cold and he said, what's wrong? If you promise something, you have to do it, or you'll end up dead. De Chun was stunned on the spot. Originally, it was just anger attacking the heart and not really wanting to die. After all, people, no matter how hard or tired they are, would not want to die. But now, with such a mess, they have truly wanted to die. At this moment, a neat and deafening slogan came from the city. Today's efforts, tomorrow's victory. As long as you can't die, work towards death. De Chun turned his head and glanced at the leading slogan of the Zero Charging Cart. De Chun only didn't want to meet them anymore, and was even more afraid of their ridicule. Run. Now, without a car, one's whole body is light. But after running a few hundred steps, De Chun still heard laughter coming from the city gate from afar, and it was the group of people surrounding the lame master to inquire. Obviously, the unicycle parked there caught their attention. De Chun feels mentally broken. Why on earth did I travel to this world? Is it the arrogance of slapping the face in the beginning? It's really unwillingness to just go through a time without achieving anything. Not only has Madame Jerome not seen it, but also the more serious Three Kingdoms generals have not seen it, and even the monsters have not been seen. I have decided. After finishing speaking, I will head straight to the deepest mountain. At least I will also see the monster, and then. I hope this journey is just a dream in the early spring, I rested and ran for six or seven miles in a daze. When the Chai Mountain arrived, the sound of axes was still outstanding, and the mountain songs were loud and clear. Ah May said sweet words to her brother, letting him touch her hand for nothing, ah, 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 ah. Listen to the sound and debate it's him. Coming here in spring can be considered as a deep realization that the most important thing in firewood, rice, oil, and salt is actually firewood. Because the consumption of firewood is far faster than the growth and consumption of grain, the demand for firewood in a city with tens of thousands of people is a significant test of the surrounding natural environment. Urban residents often go out to pick up firewood when they have nothing to do. For example, the famous Lady Xia Ho was taken away by Zhang Fei as his wife when she went out to pick up firewood. So basically, the surroundings of big cities are all barren. Because firewood is important, there are dedicated woodcutters responsible for cutting it. Dead trees and old branches can be cut, the entire tree cannot be cut, and young trees cannot be cut. When the cut is done, the mountain will be sealed and another newly grown mountain will be cut. One of De Chun's previous jobs was to transport the firewood branches they had cut. And there are also rumors among players that these woodcutters who keep their knives in their hands all day and have ranger tattoos are the masters of hidden organization swordsmanship the current spring is completely hopeless and uninterested in various rumors. The true secret will never be spread at all, what is spread is just a game. And I'm dying and I don't even know if I'm in the game. De Chun climbed to the top of the mountain where Xiao Wu was chopping trees, and Mu Ran listened to him sing the complete section. Xiao Wu is a sunny and robust young man in his twenties, 
with a poorly crafted green dragon wrapped big knife tattooed on his arm, just like a junior high school student using a pen and ink to prick himself. He usually watches Da Chun very well. But in the eyes of Da Chun now, it seems that every time he cuts, the clumsy dragon jumps out of its arm. Da Chun suspected that he was dizzy and rubbed his eyes. Xiao Wu stopped singing and asked, Did you see it? What color of dragon? Is there really a dragon? Da Chun blurted out, Blue. Xiao Wu smiled and said, Only those who are not afraid of death or serious injuries will see this dragon. Those who are full of anger will only see the black dragon. Those who are loyal and righteous will see the green dragon. You are one out of a thousand people called by the lame master. Lying trough. This lame master, this woodcutter really has a hidden plot. One out of a thousand. I'm saved. I knew I wouldn't be a lifelong bento. De Chun was so excited and overjoyed that he made a humble statement. I'm just the lame master asking me to take a message, calling you. Calling fifth brother, you pick ten pounds of mushrooms and go back for the holiday. Xiao Wu smiled and said, do you still want to die? Can you still see the dragon? Da Chun suddenly regained his senses, indeed, he couldn't see that dragon again. Because I don't want to die. Da Chun felt a little flustered and said, Brother Wu, this. Xiao Wu began to tidy up the basket of miscellaneous items and said, It means you're just one in a thousand, not one in a thousand, but it's quite rare. Ten pounds of mushrooms are a big basket. Let's go deep into the mountains to pick them and talk as we walk. Da Chun breathed a sigh of relief and said, Okay, could you please give me some guidance? Xiao Wu solemnly said, What is one out of a thousand talent? One is not afraid of hardship, two is not afraid of death, and three is about loyalty and righteousness. Those who are afraid of hardship are absolutely afraid of death, and those who are afraid of death are absolutely not about loyalty and righteousness. Don't be fooled by those adventurers and thugs in taverns and gambling houses who claim to be brave and ruthless, claiming to be not afraid of death and advocating loyalty and righteousness. In fact, they are just idle and bullying the weak and afraid of hard. They are all false, not afraid of death, and false loyalty and righteousness. When faced with even more fierce threats and temptations, they immediately admit to betraying. I've been observing you guys for half a year now, and you can all be considered hardworking, but today is probably your day to stand out. The Chun's eyebrows twitched wildly and he said, because I'm the only one not helping. Xiao Wu smiled and asked, why not add it? The Chun could finally vent his anger and say, because it's too harmful. If everyone in Yongchang were to do this in the future, who would have the heart to farm and produce? Xiao Wu praised, okay, this is righteousness, this is a loyal and righteous person. I actually regretted and hesitated. At the end of the day, isn't one out of a thousand the basic, luxury, requirements that modern companies have for their employees? Da Chun felt quite embarrassed and said, Brother Wu praised me too much. Actually, I don't have much ability. Xiao Wu smiled and said, as long as you have one out of a thousand skills, it's not a problem to train other skills through experience. Speaking of which, Xiao Wu lifted his tattoo and said, Do you know the origin of this green dragon blade? Do you really dare to call it the Qinglong blade? The Chun is a bit uncertain. Is it related to Guan Yu? Xiao Wu asked solemnly, What do you think of Er Ye's carelessness in losing Jingzhou? The Chun is shocked. Is this triggering the historical storyline mode? Although Da Chun often talks to Zhang Hu about the Three Kingdoms with other players during his free time, this is still the first time he has discussed this with these local natives. How could the plot related to Guan Yu be triggered in this corner of Yongchang? I remember. According to folk legend, Guan Yu refused to marry Sun Quan with the words, Will a tiger girl marry a dog son? When she was lost to Jingzhou, her daughter fled back to Xichuan under the protection of her own soldiers, and then married Li Yi, the son of Li Hui, to guard Nanzhong until her old age. 
can we say that this is to trigger the plot of Miss Guan San? Is this Xiao Wu Gui Yi related to Miss Guan San? If that's the case, this is the key question. You can't copy the answer and say that Guan Yu is arrogant or careless, can you? End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Secret Realm, Close the Silver Screen You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 3 Secret Realm, Close the Silver Screen Regarding the carelessness of losing Jingzhou, it was basically a critical meeting for Guan Yu's shortcomings, and even decades later, Lu Chan felt unsatisfied and posthumously honored Guan Yu with the posthumous title of Zhuangmu Marquis. As a lover of the Three Kingdoms, Da Chuan is well aware of the general situation of this battle, and the fatal problem naturally lies with Lu Bei's brother Dot in Dot La Mi Fang. In ancient times, it was so difficult to attack a city, even with ten times the strength, it may not be possible to capture it. Mi Fang surrendered directly to the city, how could he fight? The standard answer, of course, is to stir fry and stir fry. But the Mi family of Shuzhou devoted all their wealth to following Lu Bei when he was in the most difficult situation. Who would have thought that they would have a backlash at the peak of the Shu Han dynasty? This reversal turned into Guan Yu's arrogant and malicious personality, and even such a seasoned employee turned against him. It was Guan Yu's fault. The pot flew back and couldn't be thrown away. Shake the pot Lu Bei. Indeed. Lu Bei entered Sichuan and did not attack the small county of Luocheng, where Lu Xuanshan, the son of Lu Zhang, for a year. He also damaged Pang Tong. We had to transfer Zhang Fei, Zhao Yun, and Zhuge Liang from Jingzhou to reinforce, greatly weakening the defense of Jingzhou. This is not that Lu Sun is too domineering, but rather that Lu Sun was scared and could only be cowardly, surprisingly cowardly beyond his level. Moreover, Lu Bei did not posthumously confer a title on Lady Mi, which somewhat shattered my brother Dot in Dot Law's mentality. But where did anyone throw the pot at the leader's head? At the end of the day, even if there is a course called Shuagwa Shui, it may be difficult to solve this situation. Xiao Wu waited impatiently and said, What? Afraid of saying the wrong thing and offending others. This is also considered loyalty and righteousness. The Chuanxi thought to himself, Let's first talk about the Battle of Xiangfan. This period has entered a tripartite pattern where the three forces have entered a large army group and a multi-dot point support system for combat. It is no longer the stage of a thousand-person field encounter battle that often occurs during the period of warlord separatism. The individual bravery of the generals is no longer important. With the support of the defense system of the three kingdoms, who attacks first and who suffers losses, so there is a situation where Chao Wei cannot escape from Chao Hu in four directions, Sun Wu cannot attack Hefei in six directions, and Zhuge cannot escape from Qishan in six directions. However, Guan Yu, relying on the power of one state, directly defeated Chao Wei's Su Chang defense system, forcing Chao Chao Chao. Almost relocating the capital, this is just a military talent. The three kingdoms deserve the evaluation of Wusheng and the awe-inspiring power of China. Xiao Wu nodded and said, System operations. Indeed. The Chun continued, for the defeat of Guan Yu, let's not mention the Jingzhou incident for now. Let's talk about the siege ability of Sun Quan's gang. Let's first talk about their father slaying enemy, the governor of Jiangxia, Huang Zhu. Gan Ming looked down on him and criticized him for his old age and incompetence. If he didn't repair his military equipment, he would eventually be finished. He was also a gatekeeper of Lu Biao, and Lu Biao wouldn't fully support him. As a result, Huang Zhu had Sun Quan devote his main force to fighting for several years and losing several generals. Even if Huang Zhu was ultimately defeated and killed, Jiang Xia was not considered lost. Xiao Wu nodded and said, Huang Zhu is a bit interesting. The Chun became more determined and said, Then let's talk about Sun Quan's attack on Jiang Xiao, a general who surrendered to Jingzhou and was defended by Wen Pin. Even if the city of Jiang Xiao was destroyed by Wen Pin, there was no time to repair it. 
when Pin simply refused to repair it and even resorted to empty city tactics when he went home to sleep. Sun Quan was also scared off and did not dare to attack, achieving the reputation of Wen Pin sleeping. Wen Pin guarded Jiangxia for decades until he died of old age, and Sun Quan did not dare to move Jiangxia any further. Xiao Wu continued to nod and said, Wen Pin is a capable person. The Chun said the key point. Besides, Sun Quan's attack on Hefei is even more famous. It has achieved the reputation of Zhang Liao and Xia Jin, as well as the laughingstock of Sun Quan's 100,000 yuan. The key is that Sun Quan has fought against Hefei for his whole life, from young to old, and has never taken it. Xiao Wu laughed heartily. The Chun summarized, so Sun Quan only has that little siege ability, so I just have two words. I disagree. Xiao Wu angrily said, not bad. We are all dissatisfied, we just can't stand those group of sun thieves. The Chun asked cautiously, did I answer correctly? Xiao Wu sighed and said, even if sun thief doesn't make any clever moves, losing is losing. If you find various excuses to evade second lord, it will actually harm his reputation and add ridicule to his disciples. At that time, you can only learn my unique skills and cannot see key figures for now. Ah. Uh. As long as you don't shake the pan. Then I'll just say, real men don't throw the blame, and that's it. The Chun awkwardly said, then I'll curse the sun thief for nothing. Xiao Wu smiled and said, it's so satisfying to curse. The Chun breathed a sigh of relief and said, actually, being able to learn the unique skills of fifth brother is also my blessing. Xiao Wu waved his hand and said solemnly, have you ever heard of Kwai Dao Hui in the city? The Chun immediately remembered the rumors circulating among players about these woodcutters. Are you referring to chopping firewood on the mountain? Xiao Wu stopped and looked at the Chun solemnly, Yes, Kuaidia will be a secret organization with the purpose of protecting us woodcutters and retired veterans from the oppression of landlords and tycoons. It's the same as the Luban in the construction industry. But our Kuaidia will only be a superficial cover-up, and no one knows the true secret core department. The Chun immediately understood and said, Brother Wu, I'll just pretend to be dead once today. I'll keep the secret. Xiao Wu nodded and continued, the true core department is the loyalty and righteousness hall. The head of this hall is Miss Guan San. When Gue Yi went to the central plains to wander, he admired Guan Ho and became a personal soldier of Guan Ho's mansion. At that time, he was not lame. When Jing Zhou was defeated, it was Gue Ye's escort Miss who broke through. Then Gue Yi became the helmsman stationed in Yongchang City. The purpose of the Loyalty and Righteousness Hall is to secretly select loyal and righteous warriors, and not forget his original intention to unify the world. The Chun was overjoyed and looked over, really turning off the screen. Is this to obtain her general's talisman? Looking across the country, there are tens of thousands of players who have obtained the general's talisman, but only a few have obtained the female general's talisman. Even if there is a ready dot made Lady Zhu Rong in Yongchang, Few players in this city have seen her to Chun was so excited that he couldn't wait. Where should I meet Miss Guan San? Xiao Wu smiled and said, now is it. Today is the Dragon Boat Festival, with the highest Yang energy of the year, which is convenient for opening the pure Yang secret realm. Guess how far we are from Yongchang City now. Until then, the Chun realized that he had unknowingly arrived at a completely unfamiliar mountain forest, and the bird singing mountain was shrouded in clouds and mist, completely unable to hear the sound of other woodcutters chopping firewood. The Chun was confused and said, Where is this? Xiao Wu smiled and said, Maybe it's a hundred miles away. The Chun was startled and said, Can the fifth brother master magic? Xiao Wu smiled and said, It's hard to say. Some special places will undergo some changes in heaven and earth at specific times, and ordinary people just need to arrive at that point at that very moment. Speaking of which, he pointed to the mist ahead and said, you go in, and Miss San will personally test you. No matter how well you do on the test, there will still be a welcome gift. 
I'll go pick the mushrooms. This is opening a dungeon. De Chun couldn't help but be overjoyed and said, Thank you for your guidance, Brother Five. Go on, go on. De Chun excitedly entered the mist, with the sound of chickens crowing and dogs barking in his ears. A large aroma of herbal medicine hit his face, and then the mist dissipated. A lush nursery and several thatched cottages appeared before his eyes. System prompt. You have entered the pure young, secret realm, Nanjong Pharmacy. This is the dungeon of the secret realm, and I finally have a day to make a name for myself. I must seize it. De Chun calmed his mind and tidied up his clothes. He respectfully walked to the front of the farm, and then saw a green-clothed farmer woman with a silk scarf, a masked figure, shaking a dustpan to dry things in the square in front of the farm. Her feet suddenly stepped in a circle, circling the stars. Is this the closing silver screen? De Chun felt the long-lost cultural atmosphere of the central plains, so moved. But upon closer inspection, it was clear that she was drying centipedes. The entire square is covered with dried centipedes. De Chun is confused. Chini smiled faintly like a silver bell and said, You were introduced by Xiao Wu, and I am Guan Lao San. Actually, I am not really a hall leader. They were very dissatisfied with the Battle of Jingzhou and established a loyalty and righteousness hall. They insisted on making me a hall leader who did not want to take care of anything, so the program still needs to be followed. De Chun respectfully said, Miss Guan, please give a question. Guan San said in a deep voice, if my father had agreed to the marriage proposal of Eastern Wu, would it have avoided the Battle of Jingzhou? De Chun was suddenly taken aback. Is this question too simple? Of course, it is unavoidable. To defend the Yangtze River, one must defend the Huai River. Since Eastern Wu cannot take Hefei, it must take Jingzhou upstream, all based on the natural danger of the Yangtze River. This is the founding policy of Eastern Wu, as well as the life.saving policy of the Eastern Jin, Southern Dynasties, and Southern Song Dynasties. It is impossible to change it due to small tricks such as matchmaking. But, just copy the answer like this. What kind of talent am I, who is one out of a thousand? De Chun pondered for a while and cautiously gave the answer. We will not avoid the Battle of Jingzhou, but it is highly likely to change the outcome of the battle. Jingzhou may not be lost. Guan San frowned and said, Why? Because once you make a marriage, you become a hostage, and Guan Gong's military mentality will inevitably be more cautious. The determination of Eastern Wu to seize Jingzhou will also undergo some changes, and once these changes occur, it is difficult to determine the direction of the Jingzhou campaign. After all, Sun Quan quickly seized Jingzhou by luck, not by actual strength. Guan San asked in a deep voice, are you saying that my father's refusal to propose is wrong? Yes, Zhuge Liang heard that Guan Yu's refusal to propose marriage was like, Jingzhou is in danger. But in front of her, we can't say that her father is not her, we also have to consider her feelings to Chun sweated and said, from a diplomatic perspective, there should be some shortcomings. But if it were me, I would also refuse. If we get married, we won't be Guan Gong, who is imposing on China. The scene fell silent for a moment, and De Chun nervously awaited the interview results. Finally, Miss Guan San sighed lightly and said, your answer is to strike a balance between the two ends. This is the talent of the Prime Minister who oversees the court and the public. De Chun is a bit confused, is this praising me? Guan Sanyi pointed to the farm and said, the talent of the Langmiao is not a branch of a single tree. Of course, it needs to balance the overall situation cleverly. And the talent of pillars and stones, it's better to be straight than bent. Little Wu Guiyi and his team recommend you not because you are clever at both ends, but because they think you are a talent of pillars and stones that is more straight than bent. Oh. So you're criticizing me. But there's nothing I can do. I was really afraid of offending people just now when I emerged from a desperate situation. This is not the capital that previous companies had to confront. 
Guan San smiled and said, Anyway, there is still a welcome gift. Please accept it. With a wave of his hand, a golden talisman paper flew over. System prompt. You have obtained a one-dot-star general symbol on the silver screen, dual mode, current female general mode. One-dot-star ability. Jianmen Tiger Girl, buried in the southern Xinjiang. Jianmen Tiger Girl. A female warrior mode skill that possesses physical and leadership abilities far beyond ordinary women, precise and comprehensive personal combat abilities, and significantly improves the combat effectiveness of using military symbols. Naming in Southern Xinjiang You can switch between the Gu San Gu mode of the witchcraft and sorcerer hermit. Attention! Summoning generals to battle will continuously consume your physical and mental energy. Twenty pieces of star fragments need to be upgraded to two stars to enhance the strength of the general's talisman, while strengthening existing abilities and obtaining new ones. Dual Mode First time I heard about it. Thank you to my book friend, Ai Ching Zhu, for reminding me to correct an inappropriate context. Then on the last day of 2020, I wish everyone a new year of good luck and a soaring bull spirit in the year of the ox. Always remain vigilant and wear a mask with you. I can't bear to look back on this past year and it's hard to describe. In the new year, I am striving to move forward. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Festival Leveling Dungeon You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Festival Leveling Dungeon Looking at a golden card surrounded by a masked female hero in green, the Chun finally regained his senses. This is the warrior talisman that many low-dot-level players such as the Chun have been dreaming of. Don't care if you're a famous general, as long as you're a general, it's like carrying a lifeguard with you, but don't expect to meet such basic requirements. But now even if the interview is not good, she can still get it, and she is still such a popular female warrior symbol. No, as long as she is a female general, she will definitely be very popular to Chun, moved by tears, clasped his fists and bowed, thank you, Miss Guan San. Guan San sighed and said, it's me who should thank you. There aren't many people like you anymore. The characteristic of my general's talisman is that it has two modes. The current mode is the ordinary killing general's mode, which is weak in melee combat and good for leading troops in cavalry and water combat. Switching to the witch and gugu master mode is a hermit named Gu San Gu, who mainly attacks with oil, fire, poison, and smoke on a large scale. This is also my hard work achievement in the latter half of my life. If you encounter various herbal poisonous insects in the future, this talisman will prompt you to take it and teach you the formula for pharmaceutical refining. This is the first time I've heard of a dual-mode general talisman, it's like carrying a poison doctor with you, absolutely high dot end. De Chun excitedly asked, why are you a hermit? Guan San sighed and said, my father has lost Jingzhou. Even though the Lord treats my family like before, other courtiers actually have opinions in their hearts, and the people are even pointing and poking behind the scenes. I am also very uncomfortable, so I decided to hide my identity and come to Nanjong to learn local witchcraft and witchcraft. You can switch modes to see. I see. After all, Guan Yu was a defeated general. After the downfall of the Shu Han dynasty, he had been worshipped in the folk of Jingzhou in the form of a fierce ghost. It was not until the Sui dynasty several hundred years later that he was officially worshipped again. Later, Xu posthumously honoured Zhuge Zhang Fei but did not posthumously honour Guan Yu. Zhao Kuanyin of the Northern Song dynasty even invited Guan Yu out of the martial arts temple sequence again on the grounds of being a defeated general. Guan Yu's family is not as beautiful as the players imagine. Then switch modes. In the next moment, the flame of the golden talisman dimmed until it turned into a dark green flame rolling. The portrait of the female warrior in green on top also turned into a black-robed, wide-robed, and masked bamboo hat person carrying a bamboo basket. Two large bamboo tubes were inserted into the basket, and a pile of gourds and a banana fan were hung outside. The name of the warrior talisman suddenly became Gu San Gu. 
a pleasant surprise in spring. Looking at the three kingdoms, who would know that there is a character like Gu San Gu? It's impossible to associate this design with the screen shutdown. This can reduce a lot of trouble. You should know that your current situation is not that LV Bu married Diao Chan, but that Wu Da married Jin Lian. How many jealous and crazy big shots would come to me for a strategy to close the silver screen? Not to mention anything else, Brother Ji is now the dominant figure in Yongchang City. He is absolutely, that's right, as long as I obtain the general's talisman, he will definitely force me to hand over the strategy. Even if I tell him that the strategy is, not afraid of death if I lose all my wealth, he will believe it. Don't kill me yet. De Chun urgently said, Miss Guan, I want to become stronger immediately. Is there any place suitable for me to quickly experience? Guan San comforted and said, Great. Today is Dragon Boat Festival, and many poisonous insects have become weak. In order to avoid Yang energy, they will squeeze into a pile. It is the time to catch them all in one net. The cathode is Yang, and the anode is Yin. There happens to be a 10,000 Gu cave underground in my pure Yang secret realm. Do you dare to go? We also have a map for leveling up. And it's clearly a holiday welfare activity. Without saying a word, the Chun said, Go. I was not afraid of death just now. Guan San said solemnly, Then take a rooster with you. The rooster is the most young thing, likes to eat poisonous insects, and can find the hiding place of powerful poisonous insects. Once it eats poisonous insects with evil energy, it may eat them and become a spiritual beast. At that time, it can recognize you as the Lord. Note that at one o'clock in the afternoon, the poisonous insects will recover their ability. You must come out of the hole, and I will pick you up. Spirit Beast Even the pets are ready. But it doesn't seem like there's that much time. De Chun felt even more urgent. I will do my best. Behind the farm is a narrow and dark dry well. The old drum bucket swayed left and right under the thin cold wind at the wellhead, and several fat and large hens were pecking at something nearby. This is different from the imagined grand and dark scene. De Chun looked at it with hair all over his body and said, Is this the Wan Gu cave? Guan San nodded and said, Yes, it was originally an underground karst cave, but due to the drought, it has become the best hiding place for poisonous insects. The terrain is intertwined and complex. You can hang this rope barrel down. The light in your field of vision depends on the light of the general's talisman, and the idle insect swarm can use the Gu San Gu mode. However, ammunition is limited and needs to be replenished. You will know it by familiarizing yourself, and she will answer your basic questions. Is the bamboo gourd in the backpack a weapon or ammunition? Compared to Zhuge Liang's barbaric fire beasts, it's high. End. De Chun couldn't wait to see the power of the general's talisman. So De Chun wrapped his mouth and nose in a sweat scarf, holding a rooster in one hand and a rope barrel in the other, and descended towards the bottom of the well. Quickly, the sky over the narrow wellhead became indistinct. The green flame of the general's talisman became the only light of spring. Then De Chun saw the white spider silk on the well wall, as well as the palm sized spider. De Chun's scalp tingled, and he began to imagine countless spiders burying him alive in the sky. Then spring descended into a pile of cold and black mist, and a foul smell could be smelled through the sweatshirts. System prompt Warning You have entered the 10,000 Gu cave in the demon realm. De Chun's heart trembled. Surprisingly it was a magical realm. According to the division of this world, Fairyland is usually a difficult and friendly dungeon with a large gift package, Secret Realm is usually a neutral dungeon with hidden missions, and Magic Realm is an enemy dungeon that kills high-end monsters. Under normal circumstances, entering is seeking death. And now the holiday restrictions are before the Yushur, so the meaning is that the true experience is actually after the night of Yushur. Reminder from General Fugu Sangu. If a large amount of insect oil materials are found, 
you can collect and refine insect fire oil. You really gave me a hint. As De Chun looked down, there was a lush green expanse below, and the stench couldn't be stopped as it rushed towards him. Suddenly, there were countless wriggling insects, not even a place to step down. Lying trough. If you're not afraid of death, De Chun has made up his mind. But even if you really want to die, it's unlikely that it's just jumping into a dung pit or insect trap. This disgusting feeling makes people dare not die at all. At this moment, the rooster in his arms let out an excited cry, and the entire wall of the well echoed. Countless groups of greasy insects surged like waves. The Chun suddenly realized that I wouldn't be as good as a chicken. It's just a psychological disorder caused by excessive nausea. I really started to move my hands. With my feet, I stepped on countless of them, it's not a weakness at all. A bright red spot suddenly appeared in the insect swarm. General's rune prompt. Warning. Encountering monster-level poisonous insects, the general talisman is about to go to battle. Sleeping slot. The next moment, the general's talisman flame exploded, and De Chun felt a force being pulled out of his body. Then, his head and shoulders suddenly sank, and suddenly two feet stepped on him. Has it transformed into a human form? De Chun wanted to look up with a respectful expression, but he couldn't move his shoulders and neck, it was so heavy. Obviously, the well was narrow, and when she transformed into a human, she could only step on her head. De Chun had to fully grasp the rope. I only heard a bang above my head, and a ball of oil and fire almost wiped De Chun's face and flew down. Boom! The flames were flying at the bottom of the well, and the insect waves turned into waves of fire. The bright red spot in the flames revealed its entirety, and suddenly it was a red-headed centipede with a thick arm rolling and struggling. Is this a monster? De Chun was momentarily bewildered, and if she had met her normally, she wouldn't even dare to think about it. Another ball of oil and fire smashed down, and in the midst of the raging flames, a sparkling star shone before my eyes. System prompt. Congratulations. You killed a monster-level poisonous insect and gained combat experience. You have obtained one general star fragment, and the upgrade progress of the general rune is, one twentieth. The Chun just regained his senses, is this the legendary fragment? Is it just two shot seconds? Is Miss Guan too strong, or are the monsters of the Dragon Boat Festival too weak? But anyway, it's too easy to kill one before it even lands. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Challenging Difficulties You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6 Yongchang Yaich You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Yongchang Yaij Yongchang City, Tiger Elephant Hall Ivory is the beam, tiger skin is the chair, rhinoceros horn is the cup, and python skin is the drum. Menghua and his wife held a grand banquet to celebrate the festival and offer sacrifices to their ancestors. Under his command, the fierce generals Jin Huan Sanjia, A Huiran, Dong Tuna, Bizi Yachang, Mengyu, as well as the allied tribes of Dosi King and Mu Lu King, brought the cave master and Yang Feng to the gathering. In most of the Three Kingdoms themes, there are third and fourth rate generals present, who have unique characteristics but are not very good at leading troops. And here, it is indeed a leader level existence where a few words of wine can determine the direction of the pattern in the south central region. Ji Gu is the only player who participated in this feast as a ninth grade agricultural official, and is responsible for the behind the scenes chef. The only dish that Chicken Brother can handle is actually one dish, earth roasted chicken. In a world where there is a lack of seasoning and only salt, and most likely coarse salt, it is a test of skill to cook a good dish. Moreover, burning one chicken is not enough, and a specialized large earthen stove must be built to burn dozens of chickens at once. Even modern chicken grills are just that. After all, these barbarians will be like fierce beasts. 
eating a chicken is just a matter of chatting and laughing. If you don't have to eat it when you're enjoying it, the consequences will be very serious. The banquet was filled with cheers from the crowd. Good chicken. Banza. Chicken brother, who was listening in the back hall, clenched his fist nervously. Meng Yu's laughter immediately came. Big brother and sister. In. Law, brothers and cousins, this chicken is so stubborn because we have a talent here, ranking in the top 50 of the national rookie celebrities. The cave owner also smiled and said, Not bad. Today is the holiday, and I think I should formally introduce myself to my brother. In. Law and all the brothers and cousins. Meng Hua's laughter shook the roof beams and said, I've been too busy with drought inspections these past few months. I've heard about this person for a long time, so let's shout out and see him. Chicken Brother breathed out a long sigh of relief. In the past six months, it has not been in vain to win over these two people. Just giving them roasted chicken to eat and playing cockfighting with them has shared too much energy. Meng Yu is Meng Hua's younger brother whose physical and military strength is much inferior to his brother's. His advantage is that he has a relatively good brain, likes to imitate some unreliable magical tools, and also likes to inquire about various gossip news. He is like a dog-headed military strategist engaged in intelligence. The key is that he also knows the way to enter the country of Yugo, which is the famous birthplace of the Vine Armor soldiers. King Yugo, Wu Tugu, is a giant with a length of 1.2 meters, which is 288 meters. As for bringing the cave owner, it is Lady Zhu Rong's younger brother. This younger brother may not be particularly brave, but he is very obedient. It is obvious that Lady Zhu Rong is truly in charge of the tribe. The ultimate goal of Brother Ji is actually Lady Zhu Rong. Zhu Rong is not only a wild beauty, but also a descendant of the fire god Zhu Rong family. This is the ultimate existence of Nanjong. That's why she's not so easy to see. So Chicken Brother tried his best to get matchmaking from his two younger brothers and easily obtained their martial arts symbols. As long as we complete today's festival ritual task, we will definitely obtain the third general's talisman. Who will this third talisman be? Ji Gu and other generals are all intentionally unfamiliar, and it can only be Meng Hua and Zhu Rong. But Meng Hua is still a hegemon and won't be so easy to obtain. Moreover, Meng Hua has been going to the countryside to inspect the drought situation for the past few months, and there has been no task intersection. In short, it's best not to get it now, otherwise it's really troublesome. Zhu Rong's one-dot-star skill is the divine skill, Man Wang Nizu, which can reduce the fatigue and consumption of players using general symbols, making it suitable for players like him who have many general symbols. Meng Hua, on the other hand, is the opposite. His explosive skills will consume additional player fatigue, making it really unaffordable to play. Forget it, to be honest, it's just craving her body. The messenger came in and said, Commander-in-Chief, the king and all the cave leaders will see you. Yes, Zhu Rong. Zhu Rong Ji Gu eagerly arrived at the front of the hall, and at first glance, he was attracted by Zhu Rong, who was covered in peacock feathers. The ultraviolet ray of the Yunnan, Guizhou Plateau gives her bronzed and shiny skin, which is as fascinating as natural sock silk. Her eyes met, and she smiled at Brother Chicken, shining brightly like a peacock on its screen. Chicken Brother is instantly infatuated. This wild charm that combines hardness and softness is incomparable to those frail modern female stars, filter screen celebrities, and internet celebrities she spoke, her voice as clear as a chime clock, yet not lacking in depth. Our talents seem to be able to strike, but in case something happens, we will suffer greatly. Your Majesty, today is the holiday, so why don't we give a blessing ceremony together? Is it her? Brother Chicken can hardly contain his inner ecstasy. Meng Hua laughed and said, Madam makes sense. What do you brothers say? Everyone laughed and said, The face of the king and his wife must be given. Meng Hua roared loudly, Okay, tie it up. 
With a wave of his hand, a general's talisman came out and flew around the entire field. Chicken Brother's face changed, it was Meng Hua's. Grass, grass, grass. In the next moment, the star halo of the generals in the entire arena also shook, and dozens of scattered lights rose up and converged towards the general's talismans, system prompt. Congratulations. You have obtained a special enhanced two-dot-star, Great Sacrifice Menghua, General Rune. One-dot-star ability. Barbarian King explodes. Two-dot-star ability. Which sacrifice protection? Chicken Brother was shocked on the spot. Surprisingly, it's a special enhanced version of Menghua. Just like in many Three Kingdoms mobile games, the Divine Guan Yu and Magic LV Bu specially prepared for those elite players are different from the ordinary Guan Yu LV Bu of ordinary players. But Brother Ji couldn't be happy at all. If it weren't Menghua, then it should be a special enhanced version of Zhu Rong. Miss this opportunity, how long will you wait next time? Mid-Autumn Festival Three months of time is simply not enough to accumulate such a large task display, and there is still a possibility for the spring festival. Brother G's heart is so congested that it's hard to describe. What's even more congested is that he has to force a smile to thank the king for his gift the banquet ended, and Chicken Brother also completed the task and left the Tiger Elephant Hall. At this sunset, a group of gang members cheered and waited at the entrance, Congratulations to Brother G for obtaining the Super Barbarian King. Brother G is invincible. Congratulations on a chicken feather. You don't understand my sadness. G G E's mood was suppressed and he said, How did you do with today's things? A senior gang member reported. Brother G, the team players basically all joined the gang. Today, there is a great harvest of medicinal materials in the monster area. The team has been arranged to represent Leopard 2 to wait for Brother G's teaching in the number one private room of the tea house. Chicken Brother smiled heartily, and his suppressed mood finally had a hint of comfort. This zero charge was arranged by Brother G. G Gu is well aware that the fundraising model of constantly borrowing money is not sustainable. In the end, it is necessary to build several high dot quality enterprises for debt to equity conversion arrange all creditors to become shareholders who enjoy the dividends of the enterprise, and gradually acquire the shares of these shareholders to exclude them from the market then there must be people who are truly down dot to dot earth and do practical things. Those who are unwilling to help are actually what they truly want. However, the interloper would rather be a chicken head or a wild rooster, how could they easily add help? The task of zero charging is to be a prick, constantly challenging oneself while motivating them. Confronting oneself makes one appear to have a grand demeanor, not a simple and rough lending bully. At the same time, establish his leadership credibility and unite the team. Motivating them is not letting them despair and collapse, but letting them live every day in hope of turning things around. As long as the arrangements are in place, they are no different from the chickens in the chicken farm. Now it's great, Finally we can form our own logistics company team. After the convoy is equipped with four-wheeled vehicles, you can also try the Wugong car strategy. The so dot called One Roof and Eight Cavalry refers to whether it was Li Mu from the Warring States period, Wei Qing from the Han Dynasty, or Zhu Yuanzhang. The most powerful weapon against nomadic cavalry is the chariot formation, which is the moving Great Wall. If it were to develop into Zhuge Liang's spray train in the romance, it would be possible to wrestle with the elephant soldiers in Yongchang. If it were to come to that day Brother Ji remembered something. Basically, everyone joined the gang. What kind of people are still holding on? The members of the gang laughed and said, there's only one sand sculpture. He gave all his wealth and just bought a car to the gatekeeper, thinking it could trigger a hidden plot. Then the lame master asked him to die wherever he wanted, and he ran into the mountain. We searched and found out he wasn't in Chaishan. Brother Ji frowned and said, I can't help but commit suicide. Go check if his ranking has returned to zero. Yes, Brother Chicken. 
This so dot called hidden task of the lame master was actually done by the chicken brother. At first, Brother Ji learned from Meng Yu that this veteran was unusual. He had seen the world in the central plains and joined a fast sword club after go home. There are too many underground organizations in the martial arts world like this, and Brother G is actually not interested. No matter how extraordinary, he is just a cripple without a star ring, and cannot be more valuable than a general. Unless he has a backstage. But Brother G was busy with his big goal and couldn't stick to him at all times, so he promised him, we can make all the players in the city respect him. Chicken Brother did it. After the rumors were released, the players in the whole city really went to pay tribute to him, but it seemed like there was no breakthrough then there was a report from the gang members. Brother Ji, today Zhong Huang posted a nationwide announcement announcing the establishment of Luoyang Zhigui Stock Workshop, inviting and welcoming big shots from all walks of life to invest. The debt-to-equity conversion enterprise, which was the first to raise funds, took the lead in implementing it. Ji Gu was a bit jealous and unhappy. A calligraphy player who can't stand it, show off his chicken feathers. The members of the gang immediately exclaimed, that's right, the three kingdoms were in a chaotic era, and calligraphy had a chicken feather in it. One day, our elephant soldiers attacked Luoyang and ended up with this sand sculpture in one pot. Ji Gu snorted coldly, everyone work hard. Let's start by expanding the scale of the divine pheasant breeding farm. Nanjong was originally short of food, but now Yongchang is experiencing a drought, which has greatly increased feed costs. But there are too many insects, so we feed them insect chickens and select the most powerful ones as fighting chickens. Let's fight against the plain fighting chickens of Luoyang's wealthy family, and the money won't be slower than selling paper. Yes, brother chicken. Ji Gu remembered another thing. What's the movement of Qianxiu Shui in Chengdu? Immediately, a member of the gang reported, at this point, no announcements have been posted. It should be that she failed to catch the panda pet. She has never won Zhang Ren's martial arts talisman, so relying on her other three Lu Kue cold bud and Deng Xian in her hand is not very reliable. The four generals of Xichuan have a good reputation for being killed in battle, but their abilities are not very good. Even if Zhang Ren is appointed as the Xichuan Spear King by the people, he is still one level lower than the 24 generals, and cannot be compared to Ji Ge's strengthened barbarian king. Ji Gu felt very pleased and said, Rolling is a national treasure. Chiyo's mount, this woman has drifted away. The gang members laughed and said, If Chiyu doesn't ride and roll, he may not necessarily lose. Yongchang's strategic position is destined to be guarded by Chengdu, so it is inevitable that Yongchang's elder brother and Chengdu's elder sister will engage in open and covert struggles. The third place of Qianxiu Shui mainly relies on the prosperous advantage of Chengdu's big city, but there is a lack of martial ethics, and the 43rd ranked Ji Gu is a bit dissatisfied. At this moment, the gang members who were checking the rankings returned in shock and reported, Brother Chicken, we found it and it's not dead. His ranking has risen from over 500,000 to 13,000. Everyone was in an uproar. Brother G's expression moved, and this ranking is likely to earn him a military general rune. Out of hundreds of thousands of players nationwide, only 13,000 have obtained the general's talisman. Just looking at Yong Chang, will there be any generals that you have missed? Great. After all, Someone has triggered the hidden plot. Ji Gu chuckled and said, Everyone, pay attention. Whenever you find him, respectfully invite him to the restaurant to take a seat. I will personally invite him. As long as you are at the top of the food chain, the bottom layer, no matter how fat you eat, is just a chicken from a chicken farm, at most it is just a working breeder, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Hungry Unable to Hold On you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Hungry Unable to Hold On. Wangu Cave. Guan San found a concave high platform, which was a dry and large pit pierced by stalagmites at the top of the cave. A faint airflow from the ground came through the cracks of the stalagmites, 
which also made the Chun's breath slightly smoother, as he was soaked in the stench of insects. The outer side of the large pit is covered with white stalactites, similar to scale in a hot water bottle, which can easily be scooped out by medicine hose and spatulas to create three circles of oil burning ditches. Three rounds can not only slow down the stumbling insect swarm, but also enhance firepower based on the size of the swarm. If there are fewer insects, only one round will be burned. Many sharp stalagmites around are also crispy and easily knocked down by spring. These pointed stalagmites were also brought over by the Chun to build a less sturdy stone fence. After all, it's just insect prevention. Guan San personally collected insect carcasses that had been smoked and killed along the way to refine crude oil. Because it is only used as gutter oil, there is no need for weapon-grade purity, just burn it half open and pour it into the oil channel. After three hours of preparation, the three ditches were filled with oil and the construction was completed. Yushur is approaching. The Chun sees the last moment to rest. It has to be said that the Chun really thanks for the transportation in the past six months, otherwise the hard work of these few hours would definitely be unbearable. But even so, a strange feeling of hunger and fatigue lingers on. Is this not the reason why I didn't have lunch? Guan San spoke up and said, Are you tired? This is the cost of maintaining a general's talisman. The more general's talismans you have to fight, the higher your star rating, and the longer you have to fight, the greater your cost. I have been fighting for too long and it has already affected you. The Chun said clearly, then I must also improve my cultivation. Guan San said, Yes. The cultivation of generals' talismans is divided into two parts. The first part is their own strength, which varies from person to person, but not the main one. It is mainly about their spirit, manifested as self-discipline, resilience, and courage in their personality. This can be practiced by everyone. When their spirit reaches a certain level, they can learn immortality. The Chun hurriedly asked, after experiencing the experience of this great war, will my spirit increase? Yes. It will also increase knowledge, and practical experience is the most important knowledge. Knowledge is actually an intellectual attribute in online games. The Chun thought he was still in good spirits and asked, is my current spirit considered high? I'm not sure, you need a fairy to judge your appearance. But if I can confirm your current state, no fairy will show you your appearance. Um of course, the Chun knows how to look. Since it is a live-action online game, there is certainly a saying about viewing attributes. But players cannot watch on their own, they must invite immortals or famous figures, such as the immortal Nanda Beidu's Wa Si Yug, the Tai Chiu Dao Guang Chen Shi, the Model of the World Li Ying, the Mr. Shui Jing Sima Hui, the Su Shao Shijing brothers, the reincarnated Dongfang Shua Yu Fan, the divine calculation Zhu Guan, Zhu Jian Pain, and Guan Lu. And Zhu Jian Pain is also good at horse riding. It is said that the two divine doctors, Hua Tua and Zhang Zhongjing, were also able to see faces. In the Han dynasty, there was no imperial examination system, and it was a censoring system recommended by major clans to each other. This caused dissatisfaction among the lower-class scholars, leading to the birth of the profession of evaluation. The most well-known one was the Yudan Evaluation Program by the brothers Su Xiao and Su Jing, which evaluated people from all over the world. The effect was to praise one person with a yellow hue, and their value would be multiplied by a hundred times, to criticize one person, and their reputation would be ruined. So when Chao Chao was young, he was very excited to receive the evaluation from Su Xiao that he was a capable ruler and a treacherous hero in times of chaos. And in this world of immortals and demons, appearance is real. Once the attribute is determined by facial features, it is basically a stable value and will not experience significant abnormal performance due to various fatigue and fatigue. When a person goes to see a photo when their state is at its peak, it is truly a step up in life. Judging by appearance is based on the force of Lu Bu, the knowledge of Zhuge Liang, the spirit of Zhang Jiao, and the charm of Jiao Chan, 
with a maximum score of 100 points. The evaluation is unparalleled in the world, and those exceeding 100 points are unparalleled in ancient and modern times. Then, every 10 points below is a threshold. A score of 90 is unparalleled national scholar, 80 is the backbone of the country, 70 is a wise and virtuous person, 60 is a talented person from a hundred miles, 50 is outstanding, 40 is an ordinary person with average person's posture, and below 40 is dull posture. In fact, 40 is also the general level of current players. However, ordinary people cannot see these immortal masters, and they usually disdain to show them to ordinary people. But there are also special situations where there must be supernatural powers, such as Zhang Song, who is over one meter tall, short and ugly, and has unforgettable powers. It is precisely because of this special situation that the lame master has received the focus of attention from players throughout the city. After a few words, the Chun felt even more tired and hungry. The problem now is that he didn't even have dinner. I was originally just thinking about going out of the cave at Yushir, so I didn't mention bringing dry food to Miss Guan San. De Chun asked urgently, I haven't eaten anything for two meals. Is there anything I can eat here? Guan San said, you can eat insects. Lying on the bed, this is to pull and die. It's better to die in battle and consider these things carefully. The rooster let out a loud, long cry. Guan San said in a deep voice, Yushir has arrived. At this moment, a buzzing sound could be heard everywhere in the cave. Here it comes, a large greasy insect wave mixed with a murky poisonous mist full of holes surging forward. De Chun was startled and said, such an obvious toxic mist. Guan San said, similar to locust infestations, swarms of locusts produce a foul odor and toxic gas that birds dare not eat. Moreover, this scale can cause crazy moths to fly into the fire. During the conversation, the outermost circle of fire was ignited, and a raging oil fire rose up, forming a circle of fire surrounding the high platform. Then he raised his hand and a shot of thick smoke blew out, and the smoke filled the entire room once again. System Prompt Warning Discover more than five monster-level poisonous insects. There are just over five of them. The Chun trembled all over and immediately ignored hunger, just like being able to skip food and drink for a day while playing games. Bug Lang ignored the fire circle one after another and quickly filled the outermost wall of fire. Guan San ignited the second round, which stopped the attack of Bug Lang. At this moment, a loud buzzing erupted in the insect swarm, and Guan San raised his hand and blasted out a bamboo tube creating an oil fire. The flames pierced through the poisonous mist and saw clearly. Another tire-sized monster insect was struggling and rolling in the oil fire, and its rolling oil fire ignited and disrupted more insect swarms in the surrounding area. The surging attack of the insect swarms was one of the obstacles. However, a single oil fire bullet was not enough to kill, and the demon insect quickly struggled to escape the battlefield. De Chun became anxious and said, isn't this a waste of ammunition? Guan San said, no way. It will be eaten by other demon insects, and it's hard to escape death. As expected, in the flames, a group of demon insects immediately chased after the burning demon insect. At the same time, a piercing scream seemed to come from the distant cave. De Chun's whole body trembled and said, what are the fragments of the general star? Guan San said, the Dragon Boat Festival will weaken the power of the demon insects. The demon insects will devour any valuable food and recover their strength as quickly as possible. So now we have entered the goo-raising mode, and the injured demon insects will be eaten by other demon insects. Finally, several of the strongest demon insects will be born. As long as we can kill them, obtaining fragments will far exceed what we have now. De Chun hurriedly asked, did we have enough ammunition at that time? I'm not sure. There's really no ammunition left. Switch me to the general mode for the final battle. Is it the last move fight it? The only thing De Chun can do is to elongate the handle of the shovel, 
scoop out the insect corpses outside the fire circle, and intensify refining to replenish ammunition. The attack of the insect swarm did not weaken, and more insect swarms entered the fire. Drive away with one shot at a time. The entire cave was burned into a blazing sea of flames, and the scorching oil smoke made the Chun's eyes, nose, and sweat 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 profusely. Even if there was a ventilation opening at the top of the cave, the Chun still suffocated and couldn't bear it. The physical pain made the Chun unable to ignore fatigue and hunger anymore. I feel like there is a hole in my stomach, which cannot be compared to hunger that works overtime all night. The Chun looked at the rooster beside him. Lying trough. This is the spirit beast cockfighting to be cultivated. What am I looking at? And even if I'm really hungry, I don't know how to, that's right. The Chun realized that from childhood to adulthood, he never killed a single chicken. How can such a person shamelessly blend in with the Three Kingdoms world? Guan San spoke up and said, You must eat something in your current state, otherwise you won't be able to support the battle of the general's talisman. Can't we finally keep the spiritual pet? The Chun trembled and asked, Do you? know how to roast chicken. Guan Sanchong replied, I'm just a general's talisman, I can only roast insects according to the recipe. De Chun became anxious and said, will eating it die? Guan San replied, I'm not sure. How can we be uncertain at this time? Guan San said again, barbarians start eating from a young age and their bodies can adapt. If you don't die, it may increase your cultivation. Increase cultivation. That's right, eating poisonous insects to increase cultivation is a common setting. The Chun's heart beats hard. But looking at the various burnt black mosaics outside the circle of fire, the Chun felt a strong nausea and fear claiming not afraid of death, but afraid of eating poisonous insects. How can I lie in a groove? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Immortal Arts Primordial Spirits Emerging from the Body You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Immortal Arts, Primordial Spirits Emerging from the Body De Chun ultimately chose Scorpion because it is the most crayfish-like creature. And it seems like this is still a Shandong dish, but it must be soaked in salt water before frying to remove the poison. But now it's cooked directly from the fire to eat anyway, this is Shandong cuisine. De Chun closed his eyes and held his breath, not looking at what Guan San had handed him, let alone smelling any odor. He simply cracked open and dug out a hot ball inside, throwing it into his throat. Go long. Swallow it directly. Don't think about anything. No, if you want to. This is crayfish. Shrimp. Shrimp. Ouch. As she was about to vomit, De Chun grabbed her throat and forcefully swallowed it. Tears and nasal mucus flowed uncontrollably. This is the benefit of an empty stomach. If there is still some food left in the stomach, it will definitely vomit out. Then De Chun's stomach was burning like charcoal, and his intestines were writhing in pain. This feeling seems to be poisoning. De Chun fell to the ground in pain, shrinking into a ball and trembling non-stop. Guan San said, the process of fighting against poison is the process of tempering one's spirit. De Chun's face was filled with tears as he said, I. I want to have a diarrhea. Guan San said, it's okay. I'm just a general's talisman, there's no need to worry about gender differences. I can you help me up and pull Guan San handed over another mosaic and said, you must continue to replenish. It sounds like, the Lang taking medicine. The Chun was trembling and speechless, come on. As long as you can't die, eat into death in spring, I feel dizzy and feverish, with pain in my throat, stomach, intestines, and back door, except for the feeling of hunger. The so dot called drinking poison to quench thirst is probably like this feeling, right? No, it doesn't quench thirst very much. Now, cold sweat and hot sweat are all coming, and I feel dehydrated. I really want to drink water in a daze, De Chun seemed to have returned to the six months before his travels. 
At that time, eating some brown rice or being stung by insects was all sorts of gimmicks and diarrhea. At that time, when he was poor and didn't have money to see a doctor, he had to support an earthen stove to boil a bowl of hot water. He met Zhang Hu and a few friends who also had diarrhea by drinking more hot water, and now he wants to drink a bowl of hot water water. Just want water to Chun was completely lost in consciousness, spinning in darkness and unable to feel any pain, but seemed to hear the sound of water droplets. Water. It seemed like a huge suction was rushing towards to Chun, and he felt like a gust of wind being sucked towards the direction of the sound. Just then, a rooster crow sounded. De Chun instantly regained a glimmer of clarity, only feeling the flames behind him, but the darkness and confusion ahead remained. Is this a dream? Are you floating in the air? The sound of water rises again, and spring can no longer resist, rushing down into the darkness as if falling into an abyss. I heard it, the sound of water roaring in the darkness. No, I saw it there's light. It's a beam of light. Then a long black shadow broke through the water and rushed towards me. De Chun was stunned. What exactly is this? At this moment, the rooster crowed again. It's like a rooster crowing and plucking clouds to see the sun, with a bright head in spring. De Chun regained his consciousness and suddenly saw clearly that this was an underground pool with a pillar of light, and the black shadow was clearly a escape. De Chun turned into a gust of wind and soared upwards. The black shadow chased after him all the way and bit at his feet, painful. In a moment of panic, De Chun suddenly opened his eyes, and the excruciating pain from poisoning still spread throughout his body, with the roar of oil and fire exploding in his ears. Wake up. It's just a dream, system prompt. Congratulations. You broke through the gates of life and death while on the brink of death, and gained a preliminary understanding of the immortal technique of the primordial spirit leaving the body, and successfully returned to your position, gaining significant spiritual experience. De Chun was shocked, not a dream. But I can't believe it. As an ordinary person, I have no foundation at all, and I actually have some connection with magic. Guan San asked, What did you see? De Chun's throat was hoarse and incoherent, saying. Underground water pool. Big, long, strange shadow. Chicken crowing, it seems like I've been bitten by a black shadow. Guan San said, I see. Fortunately, the rooster pulled you back in time. De Chun was surprised and said, Does the chicken pull me? Guan San said, Yes, chickens, dogs, and other poultry can see things that ordinary people can't see. It's not something we can handle in our class anymore. Please wait a moment. De Chun was suddenly taken aback and said, wait. At this moment, a sharp and piercing flute sound came from afar in the cave, while the rooster also sang in the direction of the sound. Guan San said, I'm here, she knows a lot. I don't need to show up anymore, reduce your burden. After finishing tidying up the copper pot and stove, the light and shadow all over my body were blurred and green smoke dissipated, once again transforming into the martial general's talisman that surrounded spring. De Chun also felt relieved at once, and his body instantly relaxed a lot. I see. I must have discovered the true hidden boss myself, which is completely beyond the scope of experience, so the task has been changed and the powerful NPC has personally taken action. No, no, maybe I won't die at all. As long as the situation is not right, she will come to save me. In a relaxed and joyful mood, De Chun began to examine the pain points on his feet that had been bitten by a dark shadow in his dream, and there were no wounds. But immediately I found that my pants were dirty and sticky, lying in bed. This is Miss Guan's true identity, what kind of etiquette is it? Looking at the burnt stalactite powder next to the fire pit, De Chun propped up all his strength to grab and wipe it, while also dyeing his pants a thin grey-yellow color the sound of the flute approached, and the entire swarm of insects in the cave fled everywhere like hearing a magical sound. Is this the strength of a high-dot-level wizard? Strong. 
Then the green clothes covered with silk scarves appeared on the silver screen before De Chun's eyes. De Chun was so excited that he forced himself to bow, but couldn't speak. Guan Yinping threw a gourd across the sea of fire and said, First, take a sip of detoxifying water, and then we'll go underground to find that poisonous dragon. That's a poisonous dragon. Without much thought, De Chun indulged in drinking tons of gourds, a refreshing mint fragrance permeating the body from the inside out, and then with a few loud farts, it was even more soothing and soothing. Come back to life. De Chun was moved with tears streaming down his face and said, I. I was hasty. Thank you, Miss Guan, for saving me. Can we go? Must drip. Like a baby looking at its mother, De Chun mustered up all his strength, hugged the rooster, jumped out of the sea of fire, and rushed all the way to Guan Yin Ping. Fortunately, the pants were just wet with slurry and just dried without igniting perfect. Guan Yin Ping sighed and said, Are you hungry? If you kill the rooster and eat it, I won't come to save it. Do you know why? Speaking indirectly, the rooster was placed on the ground, and the rooster began to peck and move forward. De Chun's heart trembled, she was indeed testing me. Fortunately, I have a pure and virtuous nature and have never killed a single chicken. De Chun sweated and said, I made a mistake by delaying and not returning. If I make a mistake again and again and kill the spirit pet, it will disappoint Mrs. Expectations. I will not hesitate to die. Guan Yin Ping smiled faintly and said, It's not as much as you think. Have you heard that the chicken head competes for arsenic in ten years? This chicken actually lived for twenty years by eating poisonous insects. Its whole body is highly poisonous, and it will die if eaten. It can't save you. Lying trough. This test is too scary. De Chun mentioned the situation where the primordial spirit had just passed out of the body. Guan Yin Ping frowned and said, it should be the poison dragon that's holding its soul. Fortunately, you have a strong mind to regain your soul in time, which is indeed a chance to appreciate fairy magic. In short, you have discovered the poison dragon underground. Its water realm magic will absorb and store water from the surrounding area for hundreds of miles. This is the dry water in the well, and it is also the source of the local drought for hundreds of miles. I see. De Chun hurriedly asked, and what is the pillar of light? Guan Yin Ping shook his head and said, maybe it's an exotic treasure. However, they are all mirror like water and moon, usually not in the human world, so there's no need to think too much. De Chun had no choice but to say, Yongchang City is issuing various reward and talent seeking orders for rain and drought control. So let's. Guan Yin Ping said in a deep voice, I've thought too much. I came to die together with the poison dragon. As for you, it's up to you to inherit my will. After I die in battle, you will accept my scattered generals. You should be able to upgrade the general's talismans by several stars. I don't have time to teach you, she can teach you. De Chun suspected that he had heard the wrong thing and said, let's all die together. Guan Yin Ping gave a faint smile and said, what do you think the poisonous dragon is? Did I overestimate myself by relying on the advantages of the dragon boat festival when I said I wanted to die with it? De Chun became anxious and said, since the poison dragon is so powerful, we have also discovered it. We should go to the city to report and call out those barbarian king cave masters. It happens that today is the holiday and they are all in the city. Guan Yin Ping shook his head and said, now that the Yushur has passed, the poison dragon strength is starting to recover. Every extra moment of delay, my chances are one less, not to mention the poison dragon's failure to capture its soul and expose itself. It may be ready to slip away, and the opportunity is not to be missed. De Chun couldn't accept it and said, then you wouldn't have to go all out. This is Menghua's territory, can't you ignore it? Guan Yin Ping chuckled and said, even the people of a hundred miles cannot benefit and protect the world. Why do you talk about having a heart for the world? You shout loyalty and righteousness, think about business, 
and demand that others are not afraid of death. Do you dare to give it a try? Of course, I'm not saying that the lame master and Xiao Wu are all very loyal. After you go out, talk to them about your future ideals, they are worth making friends with. The Chun's whole body trembled, is this implying a problem with the loyalty and righteousness hall? Are you telling the organization about the aftermath? Guan Yinping smiled again and said, what expression are you looking at? Do you really think it's a farewell to life or death? I'm a general star. As long as you elevate the general's talisman to seven stars, I might come back in a good mood. It can be resurrected. Tell me earlier. But surprisingly, there are still seven stars left. I thought the highest was only five stars. I'm afraid there are too many fragments to think about, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 No Qualification to Observe the Battle You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 No Qualification to Observe the Battle During the Conversation, the rooster stopped and circled in a section of the passage. Guan Yin Ping said in a deep voice, I found it. This is the underground entrance you found when your Yuanshan left the body. Normal people can't see it or enter, so they need to use Qimen Duanjiao. I know a bit of Qimen magic, but it's just a final skill, so my generals don't know how to use talismans. You've experienced a bit of Yuanshan leaving the body in advance, it's a pity not to cultivate immortals. There are also some high dot level officials who can't easily make friends. They want Yuanshan leaving the body to make divine friends, just like the dream of the sage Fu said by King Wu Ding of Shang. When you have time, you can go to Qingqing Mountain to seek immortals for further study. By the way, you can explain to the immortals how your god was bitten. As soon as he spoke, he began to depict the eight trigrams and nine palaces on the ground. De Chun hurriedly asked, seeking immortality. Seeking which immortal? Guan Yinping smiled and said, once the immortal fate arrives, any immortal can do it. Da Chuan is stunned. Are there many immortals in Qingqing Mountain? But after all, this is the Three Kingdoms, not the journey to the west on the function list, and there are only a few well-known immortals. Qingqing Mountain certainly has Zhang Daoling, the founder of the school, but he is indeed a figure of the Eastern Han Dynasty. The others are Nan de Beidu, Nanhua Laoxian, Sua Xia Yuji and Zhang Jiao, but they are not in Qingqing Mountain. Is it by Suzhen at the foot of Qingqing Mountain? I ran on the wrong set weight. There's one more. Fairy. If it were her. De Chun's heart instantly moved. If it were her, it would be a big fairy tale. And just based on their family relationship, it's normal to be their best friend, isn't it? But how to speak up? How else can you speak up? Just speak up. De Chun bowed respectfully and said, Miss, I. I want to find the daughter of Prime Minister Zhuge. Zhuge Guo is seeking immortality. Guan Yinping frowned and said in a deep, displeased voice, Men and women are not compatible. What do you mean by that? Sure enough. What other motives can there be? Finding a female fairy is always more interesting than finding a male fairy De Chun was both happy, panicked, and embarrassed. I think Mrs. Magic may have been taught by her, this is Xianyuan. Guan Yinping snorted coldly, why do you think she taught me? De Chun Han said, men and women are not compatible. Miss, it's impossible to find a male immortal to learn magic, right? Guan Yinping couldn't help but say, without your many words, you just want to be a disciple. Lying trough. De Chun seems to understand that a single dog has made a big mistake. How can he have thoughts about a beautiful woman's best friend in front of her? De Chun had no choice but to argue, Dang Tuzi was a clean official from the Warring States period who had an ugly wife and was not lascivious. It was just because he. It was only because he and such an ugly wife had five children in a row that Song Yu mocked him for being lascivious, and even such an ugly woman worked so hard. Guan Yin Ping clapped his hands and sighed. The Tuduan array is complete. Don't say more. 
Since you can guess the origin of what I have learned, it's a fairy tale. This flute was given to me by Guoguo. It can barely be used as a weapon for my generals. I will give it to you now, and you will blow in Qingqing Mountain, and she will come to you. This is not just a mortal fate, it's about to soar. Zhuge Guo, the daughter of Zhuge Liang and mother Huang Yueying, is recorded in the Ming Dynasty Taoist work, Comprehensive Mirror of Immortals and Gods. Avoid war and cultivate into immortals in the southwest mountains of Chengdu. Not seen in any official history. Many Three Kingdoms games have considerable popularity. De Chun suppressed his ecstasy and respectfully opened his miscellaneous bag to pick up the flute, saying, Thank you very much, miss, for recommending me. I will definitely work hard. Guan Yin Ping was stunned and said, Are you here? De Chun awkwardly said, I haven't washed my hands, so I dare not stain the magic tools. Guan Yin Ping shook his head and sighed, You're too reserved. Guo Guo's personality is very different from that of the Prime Minister. It's hard to say you're a fairy tale. Forget it, you brought it on yourself. Ah. Uh. Guan Yin Ping said solemnly, from now on, close your eyes until my battle is over. You are not allowed to open your eyes, otherwise the magic array will break. At that time, you may find that you were buried alive in the soil and died, or you may have been directly pierced through by a sharp stone. De Chun closed his eyes in shock and said, so scary. Yes, to put it simply, this too done is the technique of penetrating walls. If you open your eyes halfway through, you will get stuck in the wall. But the advantage is that no matter how big the battle you have with my poison dragon, you won't be affected. So start. In the next moment, under De Chun's dark eyelids, a yellow light shone brightly, and it was suddenly the magic array she had portrayed shining. Then Xiu, Sheng, Shang, Du, Jing, Dai, Jing, Kai, eight sparkling characters began to spin around De Chun. De Chun was amazed, even though he closed his eyes, he could still see the words. Then I felt like the magic array was carrying me down, like riding in a pitch black elevator, with the character array being the only light. Is this actually a strange space that travels through the soil? The descent stopped, and a heroic laughter came from outside the darkness, closing the screen. You came just in time, remember what I said. De Chun's heart trembled, can this be considered her farewell message? Just now when I talked and laughed with her, I completely forgot about the atmosphere of a deadly battle. Okay, she won't die, just ascend to heaven. De Chun cried out in tears to the darkness, follow Miss's teachings. The sound of waves crashing from outside the darkness, and the elevator space also rumbling and vibrating with flashing characters. This is a star-rated battle, high.end ones don't even have the qualification to watch. It's ridiculous that those players who rank in the top 10,000 and have already obtained Zhang Wujiang's rune are all studying on the Tea House forum how to quickly destroy enemy city generals and obtain fragments. They have drunk too much tea. But fortunately, I have finally started and have the qualifications to grow into a high.end brand a scream of a monster shook the ground, and a dazzling stream of golden light flew in the darkness. General Rune Prompt Found fragments of the same attribute General Star, start collecting. One day as a teacher. De Chun couldn't help but shed tears. System prompt. Congratulations. Guan Yinping's General Talisman has obtained 20 pieces of General Star fragments, which have been upgraded to 2 stars. Obtain 2 dot star skill. Tiger Step, Dragon Horse, Fire Thunder Shock. Tiger Step Dragon Xiang. Female General Mode Skill. Explosive Technique, instantly significantly increasing speed. It requires additional physical exertion from the user. Fire and Thunder Shock. Witcher Mode Skill. The released oil fire bomb has a powerful sonic shock effect attached. System Prompt. Congratulations. Guan Yinping's General Talisman has obtained 30 pieces of General Star Fragments, which have been upgraded to 3 stars. Obtain 3.star skills. Tiger Roar, 
dragon roar, and insect repellent magic sound. Tiger roar and dragon song. Female general mode skill. Launch a war roar to intimidate the enemy's mind, enhance our fighting spirit, and dispel negative noise effects on our side. The mountain water surface has the best effect. It requires additional physical or mental exertion from the user. Insect repellent magic sound. A witchcraft mode skill. You can use your fingers to whistle or related instruments to emit a magical sound to dispel poisonous insects. The higher the user's spirit, the better the effect. System prompt. Congratulations. Guan Yinping's general talisman has obtained 40 pieces of general star fragments, which have been upgraded to 4 stars. Obtain 4 dot star skill. Destroy the star and bewitch the magic sound. Vanishing stars. Female general mode skill. To significantly enhance combat effectiveness by consuming excess star fragments and even lowering star ratings. Gu du moin. Witcher mode skill. Can use whistles to stimulate and attract specific insect groups for my use. The higher the user's spirit, the better the effect. It instantly rose to 4 stars. Do you think you can still get a 5 dot star upgrade like this? Am I the first person on 5 stars? The Chun suddenly couldn't cry anymore, and his sorrowful mood became surging. He even felt a little happy and wanted to laugh. This, no, it's not righteous. Calm down. Looking at all the newly acquired skills, she is indeed a very standard female warrior who leverages her speed and voice advantages, making her incomparable to male generals in melee attack and defense. And the skill effects are all related to my mental and physical strength, I cannot be weak. This Gubu Moin is also quite interesting, which means that so many centipedes on the 3rd Mississippi Square were not just caught by her, but summoned by the Moin. Is it just that these four dot star skills are two pitfalls to destroy the stars? Star fragments are all treasures of players and cannot be traded. There are never too many, how can there be extra fragments? Even need to consume a lower star rating. What kind of battle is worth fighting for? System prompt. Congratulations. Close the silver screen and obtain 50 pieces of general star fragments, upgrading to 5 stars. Obtain 5 dot star skill. Full of loyalty and martyrs, Gubu martyrdom explodes. Full of loyalty and martyrs. Launch a deadly attack that inflicts damage far beyond normal. Can be used together with star slaying to stack damage. Warning. Once this skill is activated, the general rune will be unusable for a long time. Gubu Sui Bao. Explode the cultivated Gubu to kill the enemy. The more Gubu you detonate, the greater the consumption of the general's talisman, resulting in a period of time when unable to engage in battle. System prompt. Your general rune has reached a 5 dot star full star, and you need to obtain trial opportunities or refine elixirs to break through the star level and become a saint beyond ordinary. You will receive an additional 77 star fragments. 5 stars. Is it really full of stars? Do you want to test your luck? Do you still need to refine pills? This full of loyalty and martyrs. De Chun trembled all over. It turns out that her ultimate sacrifice was not just a simple statement, but a genuine skill. I see, as a female general, it is difficult to engage in close combat with a male general, and coupled with the tragic situation of the Guan Yu family, one can only use this desperate skill. This skill is even more pitfalls than the ability to destroy a star. I dare not use it at all, which is equivalent to missing two leveling skills. Fortunately, the disadvantage of leveling up has been compensated for by the Witcher mode, which means that her characteristic is to hide her identity in daily life and make big moves in critical moments. When it comes to playing Three Kingdoms, the one I look down upon the most is Pang Hui. Originally, Guan Yu's beheading of Pang De was to be his own, and he saw the true chapter on the battlefield. As a result, he took public revenge and took advantage of the chaos to shut down his family. 
Okay. Wait until we go out and talk about our ideals with Xiao Wu Guiyi, right? Ideal is to kill Pang Huigan with a big hand. What if he is a general star? The explosive thing is that his generals keep their stars for the generals on the silver screen to increase their runes by 7 stars at this moment, the magic array characters flickered and rotated rapidly, and the dark elevator suddenly accelerated upwards. This. At the next moment, the character formation disappeared, and the sound of roosters crowing and dogs barking could be heard in one's ears. A gust of fresh air rushed towards one's face. System prompt. You have left the Wan Gu cave and entered the pure Yang secret realm Nanjong Medicine Manor. Coming back. De Chun just opened his eyes now, with stars and moons all over the sky. It was arranged clearly, but unfortunately, they didn't even know what that poisonous dragon looked like, and there were so many demon insects that were not killed. Tired. Both physically and mentally exhausted and weak in qi, let's take a nap under the eaves of the farm, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 After the Annihilation of Stars You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 After the Annihilation of Stars in Bali Village outside Yongchang City, the location of the chicken farm of the Divine Pheasant Gang is heavily patrolled. The wooden stakes and spikes outside the wall are covered in dried weasel skin, which has been blessed by witchcraft, as a warning to others. Ji Gu finished his dinner party and returned to the chicken farm to stay overnight on duty, listening to the sound of the rooster chirping that sounded like a serene nocturne, thinking about his future development. Although Chicken Brother has much better attic in the city, the chicken farm is his foundation and cannot be careless. Especially the weasel, a wicked little thing that would scare a group of chickens to death by stealing a chicken, must not be put in one. Moreover, this is also a village occupied by the relationship of Tua Mengyu, and we should be worthy of his care. Mengyu's ability is not high, this is not his weakness, it is his advantage because it is easy to handle. If someone who is so easy to handle has problems, it is their own big problem. But Chicken Brother's principle of dealing with the world doesn't seem to apply to players who come through time travel. Players have various quirks, and even if they don't have the ability, it's not easy to handle them. For example, the big spring when this ranking rose to 10,000. Although Brother G said in front of the gang members that he wanted to invite the Chun to sit down and talk, what could he talk about? I didn't even buy it when I didn't have the ability this spring. Now that the salted fish is exploding, I'm afraid it's going to heaven. Talking about chicken feathers. If we can't come to an agreement, we'll kill them. To be honest, as a modern person, Brother Chicken has always been struggling with this issue. Although I have killed thousands of chickens myself, I also occasionally personally kill chickens and showcase the image of a strong person, scaring the faces of those gang members who have never killed a single chicken from childhood to adulthood. But Sha Ren really hasn't passed yet. In fact, in the first half of this year, there have been cases of illness, murder, and even suicide among hundreds of thousands of players nationwide. However, there have been few reports of mutual homicide, and even the most chaotic player gang, Chao Chao Chen Lucheng, is more likely to curse than fight. The common PK in online games shows a high degree of restraint and rationality in this live-action version of the world, after all, players in the Three Kingdoms are not fools. But this is inevitably temporary, when the competition for resources reaches a critical point, what should come will eventually come. Ji Gu has always been puzzled, is it really true that players in this world have died? Will it travel back? If it's a journey back, then there's no psychological pressure. Just send him back like killing a chicken. And there's one more thing. Earlier, some people said they had seen a person who couldn't bear it and ran deep into the mountains to die in the first half month of the game. The NPC chopping firewood also said that they heard the tiger roar, so they should have been eaten by the tiger. Did the person who was eaten by the tiger reappear? According to the routine of folk ghost and god stories, there is only one possibility. To act as a ghost for the tiger. 
Just half a month into the game, everyone was unfamiliar with each other and couldn't even remember his name and appearance, so the credibility of this is not high. But if it's true, even this ghost has already infiltrated the gang. At the thought of this, Brother Chicken felt a shivering sensation all over his body. But if the player dies and really becomes a ghost, it's just a different way of playing, that's great, just kill. Lack of conscience and moral pressure. Just as he was pondering, a villager hurriedly came in with a small package and said, Sir, Lord Meng you urgently left the city with the army and entrusted someone to bring this, so that you remember what you said when drinking. After saying this, he immediately withdrew. Chicken brother opened the package and was immediately stunned. System prompt. You have obtained the artifact authentic Yugo Kingdom horn. Magic tools. Did you actually give me the genuine key to enter the country of Yugo? Turns out he didn't drink too much, he was serious. Is this truly a world of natural resources and treasures? But he also knows that I am a war vegetable, and he even said that this Yugo kingdom is actually in the underworld demon realm, not a place that ordinary people can go to. What's the use of telling me? Okay, even though it's useless to tell me, let me have the right to know and handle it. This is a good guy, and this is the treatment that the first player in Yongchang should have. The so.called opportunistic behavior is nothing more than a useless tool for self.defense, right? The sound of the guards at the village gate questioning once again shattered the tranquility of the night. Who? The command. Help me, leopard head zero charge, the password is chicken dance nine days. Come on in. Chicken brother smiled knowingly. Those who constantly flatter themselves by indulging in delicious food, drinking salty food, and flattering others are not really worth it. Those who cooperate with themselves from the beginning and have worked hard for half a year are considered true confidants, right? Zero Chone came in, sweating heavily and panting heavily. Brother Chicken, it's a big deal. Ji Gu had already guessed what was going on and calmly handed over the teapot, saying, Don't worry, have a sip of poor. Xie Jai There are three things. Firstly, the Chun's ranking has once again skyrocketed, already ranking 103rd. Brother Chicken's whole body shook and he couldn't calm down anymore. I started my own business by gambling on chickens for half a year. I hold a ninth rank official position as a livestock commander, a gang organization of 1,000 people, a village-scale chicken farm, three major investments in a chicken fighting field, a tea house, and a tavern. I have three generals and runes, and all of them add up to 43. In this spring, there are only two levels of jumping in one day, from several hundred thousand to ten thousand, and then to one hundred. What else can we talk to him about? Give him the deputy leader. Do you want to divide it into dry shares? Chicken brother took a deep breath and said, keep going. Zero Chong continued, the great witch festival in the city just spoke about two things in the square. One was that there was a general star falling outside the city, and the other was that the drought disaster was solvable. Then Meng Hua and the cave owners who came from all directions to celebrate the festival led their supply teams to send troops overnight. Brother G, please look out the window. The few bright lines in the distance are their torches. G Gu asked, what does De Wu mean by the destruction of the star? There was an unnamed little star in the sky that disappeared, and then a little golden light outside the city drifted towards the sky like snowflakes for a while before disappearing. Is this what Meng Yu is going to do? Where are their natural resources and treasures? Chicken frowned and said, what do you think? Zero Chong said, there must be an NPC general who died outside the city. Then De Chun absorbed some of his scattered generals and became an explosive household. As for why he had to bring a logistics team, I don't understand. The Great Witch cannot disclose the true secrets, probably related to the death of this general. However, the night was too dangerous, so Brother G didn't need to go pick up the generals. I have similar opinions. Ji Gu has an industry, so there is no need to take risks. 
Speaking of which, the high.end player community that currently possesses generals is researching a question. How to quickly elevate the stars of generals? The system prompts that of course, they are going to the wilderness to fight monsters, but the only one who truly has the right to speak is ranked 47th, who has obtained the Dragon Walk of Lu Bei's General Qin Daowu's talisman and the White-Eared Soldier's talisman. And ranked 48th, the Knife Wolf, who received the LV Bu General Gao Shun military talisman and the Trapped Camp Soldier talisman. These two people have no other industry or interest in any business, they rely on going out of the city to fight monsters to maintain themselves, which is really extremely dangerous. Actually, not to mention monsters, even if you encounter an ordinary tiger, you almost won't be able to sneak back. In contrast, those big shots ranked after the 30s are mainly focused on industry bonuses, and in terms of combat effectiveness, they may not necessarily be stronger than the two of them. Not to mention the busy development of industries, it is impossible to find monsters in the wild for a long time. So there is a famous saying about exploding generals, which is to kill the NPC generals of the enemy city, and the aura of the generals under their feet will collapse, maybe they can reach five stars in one go. This statement may seem like a joke at the moment, but now Chicken Brother can't laugh anymore. Ji Gu said in a deep voice, so even if I have an additional two-dot star enhanced Menghua now, I may not be able to defeat him. Zero Charge avoids this awkward topic. I think the problem now is in other cities. There are star observation towers and immortals selling advanced flying runes in all four cities of Chengdu, Luoyang, Yi City, and Xiangyang. They should also be able to see the falling stars and may come to pick up the fragments of the stars by flying runes. It doesn't matter if there are no experts in Xiangyang, as Yi City and Luoyang is too far away, but Chengdu will definitely come over. Chicken Brother's face darkened and he said, So. Zero Chong hesitated and said, so we can't move lightly. We still need to win over to Chun. But Ji Gu is not suitable to meet him in person, so we should first send an acquaintance to lead the way. Ji Gu understood clearly and said, in case he explodes and gains power, will he save my face when we meet? Yes. I've also decided on the candidate, it's still Zhang Huchui. Chicken frowned and said, what's the use of this person? Zero Chong hesitated and said, I'm a bit silly. I often hang out with those silly and annoying people, and I feel like it's just him and De Chun who can have a few words to talk to. I hope Brother Ji can arrange for him to be under my command so that I can give him a lecture. Ji Gu said in a deep voice, Okay. I'm not afraid that this spring will break out and gain momentum, but I'm afraid he doesn't have friends. Arrange it. Let's go handle it now. Ji Gu added, also, let the members of each group in the gang supervise each other. Once the big shot flies in, no one is allowed to speak to the big shot alone or privately, otherwise they will all betray the gang. Chicken brother is wise. At this moment, outside the village gate, there was another clamor. Who? The password. Help me, chicken dance for nine days. Ji Gu was stunned and said, What's the big deal? Zero Charge chuckled and said, I've been practicing moving for the past six months. Can they run faster than me? To avoid embarrassment, I'll flash first. At the next moment, the gang members rushed in out of breath and said, Brother Chicken, big deal. Ji Gu couldn't help but say, Is it that the Chun ranked 103rd, where the stars will be destroyed and there is a way to save from drought? The gang members were shocked and said, you truly deserve to be brother chicken. Damn it, even flattery is only a part of farting. Chicken brother angrily said, you've made the chicken sleep. Get lost. Wait. Notify the chicken fighting team to gather in the square, and I'll be there soon. End of this chapter.